This being America, we can't be shocked that there was another horrendous shooting to mark the 4th of July. We wanna show you a little bit of how devastating this was. Uh, we're gonna show you some footage, obviously, massive warning, graphic content and all that, but let's see. So that sound that you heard, it, like, is there any more American sound than a white male teenager pulling the trigger of a rifle as fast as he can to kill as many people as he can? Is there anything more quintessentially American in 2022 than that? Like, it's no. the 4th of July. You probably expect you're going to hear the sounds of fireworks going off, and you might hear that too. But across the country, there's a very good chance that you'll hear that sound of, White male rage channeled through a trigger as fast as they can pull it, as deadly as they can get it. And so that happened in Highland Park, Illinois. Six people were killed in that particular shooting, of which you heard right there. Two dozen others injured. And of course, these are high powered assault weapons. So uh, injured really doesn't tell the story. There are a lot of people in critical care uh, right now. Officials recovered a high powered rifle at the scene. That could mean many things. We don't know exactly what it means, but we heard the firing. They didn't specify if the weapon had a high capacity magazine, but you heard the tape. So yes, they had a high capacity magazine in that particular case. We'll find out the exact model of the gun eventually. You could probably guess it from a list of four or five different ones that people like this will always go for because they're the best at killing as many people as possible. And if you're watching this and wondering, oh my God, what will be done to stop that from happening again? Well, welcome to America, welcome to the news. Literally nothing will be done to stop that from happening again. We're gonna turn to the person who did this and what we know about them, Francesca, but it's another, it's another one. Remember it's like another. a week ago, we were saying, hey, I wonder what the next one's gonna be. Uh, well, this wasn't the next one to be clear. There were many other shootings, including mass shootings since then. Uh, but this is the one that made national news on a yeah. day that had other shootings as well. And so uh, fun living in America. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, there is we, we live in a giant satire of ourselves. We are out celebrating uh, the 4th of July at a time when the Supreme Court is systematically taking away the rights of many, many, many half of American citizens, um, women, people of color, all and if you LGBTQ plus people, you name it, the environment, great. Um, and you go and scrape what you can of a enjoyable day, uh, uh, relishing in the last thing that maybe America has. Um, funny little parades and fireworks and you go with your family and then you hear that sound. And I have to say that unlike a lot of these shootings, we don't have footage of the moment of open firing. And that is so chilling to hear. And my first reaction other than my heart goes out, I can't imagine what it's like to be in that crowd and run for your life is how dare you? How dare any one person have the right to terrorize a group of people? How dare any one person have the right to steal a life, to steal a day of freedom, of peace, of, of enjoyable, nice weather in a park? How dare anyone and one single person's gun rights do not trump our rights to enjoy a day free from gunfire? So that is, that's all I come down to. That's one guy. All right, mm -hmm. that's not an army, that's not a military. And I mean, my second thought is, gee, now I empathize so much, even more so than I did with the people who've been on the receiving end of our wars for so-called freedom. Uh, you know, all of that military armament that has been coming back home to roost, sold on the open market to anyone and any, you know, misguided 22 year old uh, who wants to buy it. Yeah, and and look, we know so they they passed a bill, you know, a week or two ago, and uh, would it have stopped this particular case? It, do, it doesn't seem like it would have. I mean, there was funding for red flag laws, and supposedly this person, as we'll get into a little bit later on, 
had a, a trail online of threats that you would hope would have resulted in you know guns being stripped away or being barred from purchasing guns. Maybe that would have happened, maybe it wouldn't have happened. Uh, there was nothing to stop this particular sort of weapon, whatever it ends up being, and we can guess again, um, from being purchased or raising the age, even though as we know, pointlessly, flaccidly after every one of these shootings, um, it, there's a lot of research that uh, particularly men of this age range, their brains haven't yet fi fully finished forming. They have a predisposition to violence that is not purely like psychological or theoretical. And we can see it acted out literally every day. Is there any reason that you can't regulate that? No, the constitution clearly says that it should be well regulated. Uh, but we will not make it more difficult for the exact. If there were any other so specific group of people constantly committing horrible acts of terrorism, we would and have targeted them. We have, mm. that is a thing that we've done as a nation. But if they look kind of like me, maybe with a bit smoother skin, sorry, can't be, it's, we just have to pretend that it's just anybody. It's just, it's mental illness. But why is the mental illness seemingly only affecting white men between 16 and 20? Isn't that weird? Because in theory, mental illness could affect all sorts of different people, but it always seems to affect people that look like me. But let's not talk about it. Let's certainly not do anything about it. Let's just go along as well as we'll get to. Let's just move on and see what city gets shot up next. That'll be fun. <laughs> Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.